Alright guys, I've got a real brief lunch, so I figured I'd make a short video of my EDC and just show you what I use on a regular day. I'll start off with my watch. It's a uh, Tracer H3 Code Blue. It's a tritium watch, which means it has basically little vials. I don't know if any of you have ever worked with tritium sights on weapons, but basically it has little vials that hold a gas that's sort of a byproduct of nuclear waste and the gas glows for up to 20 years and it doesn't need any other input not solar not battery um, none of that it just glows on its own and so there's a vial at each hour it's kinda hard to see I film with my phone so can't really focus but there's a vial at each hour and there's one at the top for the spinning bezel which I don't know if I can get it to do it with one hand but the bezel rotates and um, so yeah that's my watch I carry on a regular basis my knives I switch off usually if I'm in the field training I use my bussy 20th anniversary and uh, the sheath I had made by a guy back home who runs a group called Garage Gorillas on Facebook you have to check him out but it's a kydex sheath I can take this piece off on the back but it's basically designed to sit on my belt just like that and um, I actually use it in my pocket more often than I do in my belt but it's a nice durable knife you have to sharpen it a little more often but it's more durable than most knives it's not gonna break and uh, it's just the perfect size to carry on a regular basis then my pocket knife it was actually a um, Christmas gift from my dad a couple years ago I like it a lot. I use it on a regular basis. Anytime I'm in garrison, it's really convenient, really sharp. It always holds an edge. I don't know how, but it does. It's got a little safety switch there. You just flip it up like that. And that's a uh, SOG Specialty Knives, and it is the Flash 2. Alright, moving on to my keys no big deal it's just a um, regular 550 cord lanyard and coyote tan and it's actually got a small tritium vial that I ordered the same stuff that's in the watch and you can actually kinda see it glowing a little bit I'll try to knock the lights off here and let you see yeah so just glows on its own like I said no input needed and I think it has a glow life of up to 20 years um, it's helped me a lot dropping my keys in the dark or laying them down somewhere coming back they're easy to find a lot of times if we're out in the field I'll lay my keys on my gear and in the middle of the night when we come back without flashlights I can see my gear from you know 50 feet away with that little blue glow next is just a small pin I just keep pins on me all the time and then the final thing is my 511 ATAC um, PLX flashlight it's very small. I mean, if I put it next to this little pin, you can see, and this pin retracts, so that's actually the size of a normal pin right there. So it's real small, very, very bright. I don't remember the exact amount, but I think it's like, I want to say over 100 lumens. It's bright and uh, just real convenient to keep in your pocket. Two AAA batteries. So that's all of my... Uh, Everyday carry, guys. Thanks for watching.